In this video, I am going to discuss pronouns in their categories. To begin with, what is pronoun? Pronouns are words that are used in place of nouns in a sentence. The noun being replaced is known as the antecedent of the pronoun. For example, Kashif is a talented boy. He is topper of the class. Here, he is pronoun which replaces Kashif. And Kashif is the antecedent of the noun he. Pronouns are used to avoid repetition of noun. Categories of pronouns Personal pronouns We have first person pronoun that are I and V. Second person pronoun that is you. And we have third person pronoun that are he, she, at, they, and singular. Reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are very similar in style and form to personal pronouns. So similar in fact that they are listed as a subgroup of personal pronouns they are technically not personal pronouns, but their use in the way they are formed are so similar that it is useful seeing them in direct comparison to personal pronouns. We use reflexive pronouns when the subject of a sentence or clause is also the object of the clause's verb. They are formed by adding self for singular or selves for plural to the end of my your, our, him, her, it, or them, as well as that indefinite pronoun one. For example, I saw myself in the mirror. She imagined herself in a Hollywood movie. They considered themselves to be above the law. One should not concern oneself with the business of others. Intensive pronouns Intensive pronouns are identical to reflexive pronouns in form. But instead of functioning as the object of a verb, they serve to emphasize or reiterate the role of the subject in the verb's action. For example, I checked over these documents myself. The president himself will visit the city. She herself is going against the law. You yourself can do it. Indefinite pronouns. We use indefinite pronouns in place of a noun that is not being specified in the sentence. There are many different indefinite pronouns. Which one we use depends on whether we are representing a noun that is a person or thing and whether that noun is singular or plural. Some common examples include Is everyone here? I hope all is going well. Whatever you decide is accepted. Many are coming to the show tonight. In these examples, Everyone, all, whatever, many or indefinite pronouns means subject is not specified. Demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns are used to indicate specific people or things and indicate whether they are singular or plural and near or not near. To the speaker. The most common are this, that, these and those. For example, this is not mine, singular and nearby. Give me that. These are really gross. I forgot to bring those. Now those is used for plural 
and also used for someone that is not near. Interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions, functioning either as the subject or object of such sentences. There are five primary interrogative pronouns. Who, whom, whose, which, and what. Now, example sentences are who is coming to the party tonight? Now, who is used as the subject? Could you tell me which option is correct, A or B? Could you tell me whose these are? Do you know what we are doing here? What is used is an object here. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are used to connect relative clauses to the main clause in a sentence. Relative clause is also called adjective clause because it talks about the antecedent noun. Moreover, two sentences connected by relative pronoun is called complex sentence. Example sentences are there, there is the woman who always sits next to me on the bus. Restructure clause who functions as the subject. The book that I wrote is being published in January. Restructure clause that functions is the object of wrote. The person whose name can't be revealed appeared in court today. non restructure clause whose functions is a possessive determiner modifying name. Reciprocal pronouns. We use reciprocal pronouns when two or more people both act as the subject of a verb and both or all individually and equally receive the verb's action. They can be the object of either the verb itself or a preposition used to complete the verb's meaning. There are two reciprocal pronouns, each other, which is traditionally used for two people are, and one another, which is traditionally used for more than two people. For example, Jake and I call each other every day. My neighbors and I spent a lot of time at each other's houses when we were cats. They had one another. And the last one is dummy pronouns. Dummy pronouns, more technically known as expletive pronouns, are words that function grammatically as pronouns but do not have antecedent. That is, they do not replace a noun, phrase, or clause. They refer to nothing in particular. Instead, helping the sentence to function properly in a grammatical context. There are two dummy pronouns, which are there and at. The example sentences are, there is a ship in the harbor. There were flowers in the meadow. It looks like it may snow tonight. Could you tell me what time it is? 